Set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. Well done, Kromo. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machines. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Corvo, wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. chosen Teague Martin to be High Overseer. Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without delay. Renovation of Caldwin's Bridge will be delayed indefinitely. Until then, citizens... I hope Sokolov will cooperate. Risk. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. It's not that I object to holding him hostage for a while, since he's been aiding the Lord Regent. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No. Not right. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know! I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. 
but I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink me? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. Say what you will. The royal physician knows his wine. brain and youthful energies but he's dead now and what can I say about him Sokolov he did improve on some inventions he did well for himself in his way he had many admirers among the aristocracy especially those who lack a solid background in matters of natural philosophy he was a painter of portraits they say his work was genius. That remains to be seen. Time will tell.
We must admire Lord Pendleton's composure in the face of his terrible loss. So, you've already pried into the mind of the great Sokolov. I must admit, with both you and Sokolov, it's rather thrilling to have such notable figures here with us. I wonder if Sokolov's loyalties could be turned in our favor. Dear Uncle, it's been a while since I've heard from you, and with the way things are going, I can't be sure we'll see each other again. I just wanted to tell you I'm doing well, and I'm safe, for now. My job, caring for a young girl, is better than I expected, though she can be very trying. But I'm treated well. There is enough to eat. I fare better than most, I suppose. We are the last of our family, Uncle Kurnow. We just have to go on living, if we can. May we see each other soon. Your niece, Callista. Royal costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me.
streets. This area is restricted to invited guests only by request of the local landowner. Unauthorized intruders will be expelled or apprehended on site. Corvo? Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Coldridge prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tivian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, 
And I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party, and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. letter from the regent himself to get her back but she hasn't been the same since i'm not surprised i've heard stories she won't talk about it one of these days i'm going to take one of those zealots apart myself i'll be right behind you
going to be bad.
Boyle Estate. Cold night, sir. Warmer indoors. Please enjoy yourself. Inside. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed. I believe so. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. I'm cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at Get on with it. I'll kill this fool, and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop! Stand right there. Three. Two. One. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. You're not lost, sir. You'll find everything inside. <clears throat> Hello. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a Marquis. Of course I don't mean you, but people are desperate, and the Boyles are awfully wealthy. Nonsense. Waverly just hires officers. You? A gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. As I think I've proven. I told you not to bring that up. There's a great deal I could offer you. Don't be silly. The rumors say the Boyles practically own your estate. <laughs> Bless you. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. Evening, sir.
friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight, and how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Lydia. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. Sir, I know these are dangerous times, but please, put your weapons away. Good evening. Enjoying Doing yourself? all right there. Welcome Anything to the boil you escape. Doing all right there? Good evening. Bring her to me.
hand tattoo. Put those weapons away. Unless you feel like tangling with the watch. Doing all right. What most people don't remember is the rats came a half a year before the Empress died. And the plague, too. Are you sure? Excuse me, Mont. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding Hello, us sir. together. He'll make us great. Welcome again. to the party. Some of us will be great. Excuse me, Excuse me. Oh, leave him be. It's a party. This is a private conversation. It's a party. It's called mingling. Mingle all you want, then. We'll speak later. I'll find you. Good evening. confined to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. What's it all about? Lord Brisbane has arrived. Know. My They're servants like... heard it from hers, naturally. They were sexual rights, I can only assume. Or else, I heard she bathed in her own pet music. You remember? Ridiculous. What sort of hygiene is that? It's a ritual for the outsider. could get her sent to the Abbey. Nobody that rich gets sent What can I get for you, Sam, to? The Brimsleys made, made a fortunate lapse of tears. Who brought him, I wonder? Makes you wonder if those rituals is for him. What happened to the boy? I hear he enjoyed Doing himself like very much. For a while. <laughs> scary mask. everything I can carry. They'll never miss it. You seem interesting. I love that mark on the back of your hand. Ricardus claims he memorized the thing. I'm sure in a few drinks I'll find that mask funny. Hello, sir. Now where have my friends gone? You should see this as an opportunity. To what? Learn a trade, join the city watch. Wait a minute. Is that weapon part of the costume? Who are you? Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Don't you think this color suits me? tonight no weapons at the party put it away sir
told you to put the weapon away, sir. So many choices to make. Are the new applicants as weak as the last? No, no, no. Stop for once. There's a key to the basement vault on my vanity. Take it. The Boyle cameo is in the attic. Take it, too. Take everything. Just don't kill me. My horrible thing. You're going to do it, aren't you? You can't stop yourself. Somewhere, scum. Indeed, I believe.
There's a key to the basement vault on my vanity. Take it. The Boyle cameo is in the attic. Take it, too. Take everything. Just don't kill me. You horrible thing. You're going to do it, aren't you? You can't stop yourself. 